In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we continue our celebration of Easter through this midweek Wednesday scripture, song, and prayer from Santa Teresa Church in San Jose. Welcome, brothers and sisters, wherever you are at this moment. We gather as the people of God, who together will overcome our fears and uncertainties brought upon us by COVID-19, the novel coronavirus, the global pandemic. St. Athanasius reminds us that the 50 days of the Easter season are one big glorious Sunday, a global and cosmic celebration of joy. Father Théard de Chardin, a Jesuit scientist, reminds us that joy is the infallible sign of the presence of God in us. This cosmic joy of the resurrection is beautifully symbolized in many different colors in the circular stained glass window behind me. Joy is not the absence of suffering or problems. Joy comes from surrendering whatever happens in our lives and in our world into the hands of God. Knowing that God carries our burdens for us, we are filled with joy. Last Sunday was Mother's Day. We continue to offer our gratitude to all our mothers who have given birth to us, who have nurtured our faith and have filled our hearts with courage from the time we were little, to face the obstacles and fears that come our way. Today, May the 13th, the Church celebrates Our Lady of Fatima, the Mother of the Church. In the Museum of Fatima in Portugal, you are led through a twisting dark tunnel, symbolizing the darkness and fears of the First World War and leading us through darkness into the bright revelation of God's love, joy, and mercy. On this feast of Our Lady of Fatima, we say together the prayer of Fatima. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our scripture for today is from the first chapter of Luke's Gospel, the Canticle of Mary, the Canticle of Joy. And Mary said, my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on will all ages call me blessed. The mighty one has done great things for me and holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age to those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm, dispersed the arrogant of mind and heart. He has thrown down the rulers from their thrones, but lifted up the lowly. The hungry is filled with good things, the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped Israel as servant, remembering his mercy, according to his promise to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. This is the good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our song for today, brothers and sisters, is a song of dancing and joy. Jesus sings to us of his joy from the poverty of his birth in Bethlehem to the cruel suffering and death on the cross. Even as we go through the trials of the global pandemic and the uncertainties of living in these dark and difficult times, let us hold on to the joy of Easter in our hearts, a joy that Jesus says to us as disciples, no one can take from you. I danced in the morning when the world was 
was begun, and I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun. And I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth. At Bethlehem I had my birth. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. I lead you all wherever you may be, and I lead you. They wouldn't follow me. I danced for the fishermen, for James and for John. They came with me, and the dance went on. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. I lead you all wherever you may be, and I lead you all in the dance, said he. And they stripped and they hung me high And they left me there on a cross to die Dance then wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he I lead you all wherever you may be And I lead you all in the dance, said he I danced on a Friday when the sky turned black. It's hard to dance with the devil on your back. They buried my body and they thought I'd gone. But I am the dance and I still go on. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. I lead you all wherever and I'll lead you on the dance, said he. They cut me down and I leaped up high. I am the life that will never, never die. I'll live in you if you live in me. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. I lead you all wherever you may be. And I lead you all in the dance, said he. Lord, even though we are not familiar with the dance steps of grace. As our dancing partner, you hold us close so that you can guide us in the dance of life. We surrender to you because we know that you will not let us fall. Lord, we place our trust in you. On this feast of Our Lady of Fatima in this month of May, we consecrate our parish to our Blessed Mother, just as our Bishop consecrated our diocese on May 1st. When our risen Lord appeared to his disciples on Easter Sunday, he said, Peace be with you. We can be confident that he desires the same peace for all the members of his body in the church and for the people of the entire world. In this difficult time, we turn to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church and Queen of Peace, to ask that she intercede with her son for all those who are affected in any way by this pandemic. As we renew the consecration of our country and of ourselves and of our parish to the Mother of God, we implore her maternal care for her children. With the love of a mother and handmaid, embrace our parish, which we entrust and consecrate once again to you, together with ourselves and our families. 
In a special way, we commend to you those particularly in need of your maternal care. Mary, health of the sick, sign of health, of healing, and of divine hope for the sick, we entrust to you all who are infected with the coronavirus. Mary, Queen and Mother of Mercy, who embrace all those who call upon your help in their distress, we entrust to you all who are suffering in any way from the pandemic. Mary, Herald of Hope, accept with the benevolence of a mother the act of consecration that we make today with confidence and help us to be a son's instruments for the healing and salvation of our parish and of our country and of our world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.